Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nate's Stuff. It's been a while. I've actually been sitting on this package, I think since before I went to E3. So it's been a few weeks, maybe a month. Uh, this was sent in by Michael, who sent the previous Funbox 1. Uh, that featured that uh, sword and stuff that said Nintendo Prime on it. He also sent me a Funbox 2. Uh, but it got kind of messed up in shipping and got sent back to him. And I think he's like repackaging it now to get sent back to me. I'm at 100% for sure. Uh, but yeah, Fun Box 3, which is uh, in a little diaper pack, which I thought was weird when it showed up at first because I thought, did I order diapers online? I usually don't order diapers online. We don't even use diapers anymore. So uh, whatever. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside. I already cut it open to make it easier on myself. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff in here. So I don't see a note this time. Maybe there's one hidden. So we're just going to grab the items here and see what's going on. So <laughs> first off, we have um, this Hot Wheels Penguin Duck. Um, again, I'm not sure what the meaning is behind some of these because here's another something. The Challenge Coin Company. So one or more of the following licenses. I don't. I don't. Under, I don't really know what this is. Is it like a puzzle? I. I don't know. Maybe it's. Co maybe it's a coin holder. I'm not 100 sure uh, what those are. Again, I. I'm assuming there's explanations at some point because now we have a Ty. <laughs> Look at this little piggy. A little. A little Ty beanie booze. What. What. What's its name? There's always a name on the inside. Sugar. What a name. So we have little sugar here. I honestly, I, I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> right now. Um, here's a shirt. Definitely not uh, my size, but uh, it's from Germany. What size is it? Yeah, it's size small. It's a child. So I guess this will be something maybe for my daughter or something. So uh, for those who don't know, Michael uh, was in the military and was deployed in Germany. Uh, so awesome. It's obviously... Something for one of my kids. Maybe all this stuff's for my kids. I don't. I don't know, to be honest. Uh, there's no. Okay, so maybe that's what the holder is for. So there's a little always remember, will not falter United States uh, coin here. Um. So uh, I'll maybe do a zoom up of this one for you guys. Uh, Seal Team Six it looks like a military coin. Uh, so maybe that's what there is. And there's a whole bag of. Of stuff here. Did I open this upside down? Is there a letter on the bottom? And I'm just there is. Ha ha ha. All right. So apparently I just opened the box upside down. Read me first. Okay. Well, that might make more sense of this stuff. I don't understand any of this stuff. And of course I don't have a letter opener, so. <laughs> you got it. Another happy birthday card. Uh, and this one's my <laughs> little pony. Uh, he crossed out the happy birthday and just wrote, thank you. And it says, thank you, cutie. Uh, and then it says, for making, M-A-K-E-N, videos. Yes, folks. For the first time ever on my channel, my little pony is now being featured. Oh, my gosh. Giant letter inside we'll get to. It says, a sparkling jewel, a shining star, magical and beautiful. That's what you are. Hope you have a fabulous, and then it says birthday, but he crossed out uh, birth, so it just says day. He says, sorry, they really don't have many cards to choose from, Mitchell. <laughs> well, that's one I won't forget. That goes in my uh, fan mail bag. For those who don't know, I do have a fan mail bag here. That I keep all my letters and cards and little trinkets in. Uh, they don't end up going on my shelf or whatever. Ooh, dropped it. Okay, there's nothing breakable in there. So yes, I do keep all your letters and stuff. And I, I do go through and reread them once in a while. Uh, this letter will end up in there as well. It says, Hello, sir. The box you see with your looking holes is from box three. Not two. Three. Two was lost in a time paradox. <laughs> he actually got two back, sent, sent back to him, so he has it. Uh, anyways, inside this phone box is bunches of cool stuff. I don't want to spoil the surprise of all the goodies, but I need to explain some things first. I'll try and be vague. First, you'll see some shirts. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Arlo voice. Oh, how does Arlo do the blah? I can't, I can't even do the Arlo voice. 
Oh, man. I just imagine Arlo saying blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll find a clip of him for it. Um, anyways, you know what shirts are, I think. <laughs> I think. Uh, next, you may find something from my personal game collection. Maybe. So maybe there's something in here. Maybe not. Oh, snap. I almost forgot. The dad bag. Maybe save this for last. It's 18 plus only. Let the viewers know. Okay, so this is the dad bag. I'm guessing right here. This is the dad bag. I'm assuming. Um, I'll go through and see uh, what else is in here. But I think... I'm pretty sure that is, unless this is the dad bag. Is this the dad bag? Ah, uh, this is the dad bag right here. All right, so this is, whatever's in here is for last. 18 plus, all right? Man, he's trying to get my video demonetized and everything. All right, um, all right, so this is not part of the dad bag. This will go back in there. All right, so dad bag last. Um, it's 18 plus only. Let the viewers know. Okay, so you know how we are PCSing. I don't know what that means. Back to the States. Oh, oh, he's moving back to the States. Uh, not a lot of time right now. Uh, so the last thing I should explain are the challenge coins. These are things given out in the army. Okay, see, I was right. So this is like a military coin. Because I've never seen this before. But it has like the word dead on the back. And then SEAL Team 6. One in the head. One in the chest. God bless you. Yeah, I, I'm not. I assumed it was a military coin. It looks like 9-11, maybe? Those are the Twin Towers in the front? Um, anyways, let's see here. It says, um, I got you two and two stands for them. Okay, so these are stands for the coins. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, please like them. <laughs> please like Okay. I mean, they're, they're definitely cool. I'm going to have to put them on, on display. See, I don't know if he, if Mitchell, if you know this, or if any of you guys know this, my uh, father, or my father, not my father, my grandfather, who sadly passed away last year, it's rough even thinking about that. Um, he actually is a veteran uh, from the Army. He was in uh, Vietnam. He was in the Navy. I shouldn't say Army. He was in the Navy. Um, so uh, that's just something for, for me to kind of remember. And having these coins, I know they're not specific to the Navy, but uh, it's something that I'll definitely uh, probably remember him with since I don't really have any memorabilia from him uh, from when he was in the military. So anyways, uh, let's see here. Uh, now I can't remember what else is inside that box. Have fun snooping around in there. Also, it was Samantha's idea for the contents of the dad bag. <laughs> I think Samantha's his wife. His, his, his wife's been having a lot of fun with these, uh, unboxing videos. Uh, idea for the contents of the dad bag. Like I said, um, can't remember what else is in the box. So enjoy. We look forward to you opening it. Someday, box two will get to you as well. And when we get to my next duty station, we shall begin working on Funbox 4. Holy crap. How many Funboxes are you planning to send me? Is this going to be like a biannual thing? Am I going to get like two or three of these a year or something? Uh, more to follow on that. Really, though, we love your channel. I hope you find a job that pays well and lets you have plenty of time to make videos. Uh, I am writing this during E3. So I'm enjoying all the videos you've been making. It's nice to see you. Okay, so I actually got this. I think this box arrived while I was gone, to be honest. Um, it's nice to see you putting out a lot of content again. Sadly, I don't have a uh, baloodle of time <laughs> to watch it all, but I manage. For reals, though, keep up the great work. Can't wait for the channel to hit 50k so I can get that switch. And we're looking forward to your, to invite you to uh, an invite to y'all's wedding next year. Yeah, I think August 21st. I think is going to be the date, but uh, not not fully official yet. That's actually for those who don't know, August 21st is the anniversary of our first date. And that's why we're thinking of doing that for our, our wedding date as well. But anyways, awesome. Well, okay. So not a lot of explanation for things, but the shirt I assume is for one of my kids because it's, it's it's a child small. Uh, the coin I now understand. These, I don't know. Are these for my kids? Are they not for my kids? I don't really know. He'll probably let me know down in the comments eventually. Uh, but they're cool. <laughs> all right, before we get into this bag of, I think this is all like food. I'm not sure. We have... Um, bunny ears because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. What am I doing with my life? And this is what I'm doing. We have green eggs and ham by Dr. Seuss. Now this I assume is definitely for my kids. Uh, they have heard this book. We don't own it. Uh, this is a, this is a Mac disc. This is for, okay. I, you cannot play this on a CD player. This is a disc for an Apple computer. Um, 
we don't have an Apple computer, so this, I guess, is just something to put in the background of my videos because uh, I don't know if he knew that, but we, we, don't, we don't have Apple computers. I don't know if maybe he didn't realize it was an Apple computer. I don't know. It's green eggs and ham. So if I ever get a Mac someday that has a disk drive, um, sure. But I guess whatever. We'll go on my shelf. Thank you so much. It's one of the most interesting things in my collection of pop culture references, I guess. Uh, another shirt here. Who's the, let me see the size on this one. This one must be for me. It's 2XL. All right, yep. 2XL. This one's this one just says Germany. That one's 2XL. That's obviously uh, for me. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, here's the other military coin. Again, we'll do, I'll do a close-up on these coins. Uh, this one's got Germany, um, Trier, Port. Oh, okay, cool. So we'll do a zoom up on that. That one, yeah, cool. We'll do zoom up, zoom up on those coins. Um, maybe I'll put them on the stands for those zoom ups. Uh, we got some. What? Are, what are these? These are <laughs> mini LED spoke lights for bikes. So I assume, especially since they're pink, this is supposed to go on my daughter's bike. That's what I'm assuming, anyways. Uh, cool. I'll have to put those on her bike and have her ride it at night and see what that looks like. I mean, I assume it looks like the picture. But that's, uh, wow. Okay, that's unique. I definitely never thought I'd get something like that. Uh, another t-shirt here. Uh, this one is size large, so I assume this is for my fiance. <laughs> it says, it says did, did, did you just ask fart? Did you just ask fart? <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Because I assume the joke is a fart joke. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this must be for Ali, I'm assuming. Yep, size 4T. Um, Germany. This is actually the shirt I like the most. It's a castle. I don't know if you know this, Mitchell, and other people out there. I really love castles. Oh, man, that's really cool. Okay. Um, and then this must be for my other son. Yep, size 7 here. And it says Ramstein, Germany. So another shirt for one of my kids. Cool. We all have some shirts from Germany. Well, thank you for those shirts, man, and all this other stuff. That's that's awesome. Let me go through some of the other stuff in here, and then we'll get into... Okay, so there's cat ears. <laughs> I hate cats. I'll let my daughter have this one. But you know what? We'll, we'll double the ears up here. We'll go cat and bunny at the same time, right? I don't know. I'm sure this looks ridiculous. The thumbnail for the... Oh, jeez. Does it work? Of course it does. Well, for the rest of this video, you will now have a red flashing light. Oh my gosh, i got to take off the ears to even put this on. Oh my god, I have never worn a flashing one before. Like a clown nose or something. It's hard with my glasses. Gosh darn it, glasses. Oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> what 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 is going on? I Okay, next... <laughs> This is ridiculous. This thing's pretty well taped up, whatever this is. Oh, this is an N64. Which game is this? No. <laughs> yes. So you know what I got to get now? I got to go pick up another N64 and then get the new... There's a hundred, $150, but there's a new HDMI cable coming out that, that makes, lets you run run the Mario 64 and I can use it with my capture card. He sent me his personal copy of Super Mario 64. Eric is going to freak out when he sees this. Uh, he has it, but it is, like, his favorite game of all time, Super Mario 64. That is amazing. Oh, my gosh. That makes me want to rebuild my old N64 game collection. Wow. Wow. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for that. Holy crud. Um, we have a Wiimote. Oh, wait, no, it's not a Wiimote. These are Wii Candy Gum. So there's gum inside. We... Do I dare? Do I dare break the seal and open it? Anyways, this is not a Wiimote. It is gum. It is official Nintendo branded gum. So that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, look. There is another. Just in case this one doesn't work, there's a second one. <laughs> I think these are for my kids, I assume. But Oh, my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, what do we got in the, the old uh, grocery bag? Ugh. What do we got in here? Alright. So we got some Ritter Sport chocolate mix. Uh, what kind of chocolates are in here? It uh, doesn't really tell you. I guess it's a random grab bag. Oh, I guess it tells you on top. So we got some uh, 
some praline from praline i don't know what that what kind that is we have cornflakes fine milk chocolate marzipan more praline butter biscuit hazelnut cornflakes cornflakes huh. fine milk chocolate so cool a whole bunch of chocolates we love our chocolates in this house um all right what else we got here we got some more hap oh some happy hippo and this is the summer edition summer spas or something like that dude these things are really good uh the last batch you, you bought me god those things were gone in like a day they're so good everyone in my house got to try one they were great uh and we have some more of those so thank you for sending a bunch of them uh i think these are actually from germany they're kinders yeah i think these are uh german candies we don't really have these in my area so now i've got 10 of them they're so good i can't i can't tell you guys how good that candy is um we have some post-it notes um three different colors we got purple uh we got uh yellow and blue uh this okay so for those who don't know mitchell likes to give practical things sometimes him and his wife and like I have practical use cases for things like post-it notes that some like every now and then uh, I'm at my computer and I don't always run to the whiteboard because uh, I have to get up and then go over and around my equipment to the whiteboard to write down like the little notes and things. What's nice about this is like when I get video ideas and stuff, there's always like times that I'm, I'm trying to grab like something and, and jot it down and I never have anything. Um, and so now I got some post-it notes, which are great because then even if I don't keep the note, I can jot down the idea slap it like on my monitor on the bottom of my monitor and then like when i finally get time go and move the note to my whiteboard on a to-do list um i seriously like they like giving practical gifts like last time i got nail clippers those have already been used uh so yeah like i appreciate sometimes when people send you things that are practical that you don't always think to buy for yourself uh and i definitely needed post-it notes so that's awesome um okay those all fell out uh we got some more german candy these are uh duplo something summer to go i don't know some sort of chocolate almond something i think it's almond and chocolate all right cool awesome there's a bunch of those like the box looks like it ripped open in shipping or something which i mean that happens it's not a huge deal let me grab the rest there's a lot of them i'll have to try some later i'm not a big chocolate and nut fan although i like almonds and i like chocolate so i'll give it a try maybe it's just the american versions of chocolate and nuts like snickers i'm not a big snickers guy uh, but my fiance is so these are good eating either way but all right cool oh what else we got what is this what is this so there's like the same thing but it's like a yogurt strawberry yogurt chocolate thing there's 10 of them okay those these look absolutely delicious oh my gosh um to Bellarone of switzerland swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat awesome well look at that we're gonna have to tr give that a try uh let's see here Ooh, this one looks like it might not have survived the trip this is uh russell stover's summer dream peanut butter fluff and i love this i'm gonna end up eating it anyways like peanut butter and chocolate i love and it's like it's crushed and leaking out all over but you know what i'll end up opening it and eating it anyways um and then we <laughs> i bet you they saw this and they're like oh we can't we can't not get him the cow right he has to have the cow uh and this has a bunch of uh, it looks like candy bars in it that are uh it's kind of locked up it looks like um yeah so it looks like there's five candy bars six candy bars something like that in here so i won't open that right now because you gotta like take off this stuff and god that looks awesome and this survives past the eating of the candy well awesome Thank you guys so much. Now, we move on to this. And I guess, fair warning, I do not know what is in this magical dad bag, but it's 18 plus. I don't have an age rating on my videos, so uh, hopefully YouTube doesn't kill me for whatever's in here. Um, I'm assuming the 18 plus thing is whatever is wrapped in this. <laughs> it's really, they wanted to make sure whatever this 18 plus thing is, that it made it home. These other things, I mean, these are just like breath mints. But uh, they're penises. <laughs> Banana and cherry flavored penis breath mints. Because if you never have enough cock in your life, pop one in your mouth. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> Did I really just say that? All right. <laughs> oh, they watch too many of my live streams. They know things kind of go off the hinge. Oh my gosh. What is in here that they... I feel like I need a knife. No, I will not use a knife. Oh, 
use my non-military muscles. Prove how much I haven't been working out. Ugh. This is like... They really take this one up. I don't know what it is, but... I hope it survives me undoing this. What is this? Okay. Alright, we're, we're in the clear here. Bubble wrap. Alright, this is supposedly 18+. plus. Or maybe it was just the candies and this is fine. I'm not sure. Okay, so... Ooh, is this a... St <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> ah, what was this thing officially called? Certificate of Authenticity. This is a king... I'm not even... What are these things called? I've seen these before. <laughs> is it just some... Is it just a, a, a drink cup or like... <laughs> I, I've seen these before. I just don't know what they're for. I don't know what they're called. And it doesn't really tell you on here. But apparently it's king. For a king. Fit for a king. The Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Bunny Cat Penis Poppin' King. I, oh boy. Well, at least I can tell my fiance that maybe I took a sip out of some big old bitties today. All right, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Mitchell, for all this stuff. Gifts for my kids. Uh, some personal game collections. Some coins. This is all amazing. Uh, way more that you, you always outdo yourself. Every single time the fun box comes, it seems to just get bigger and bigger and crazier and crazier. And you and your wife are just I, apparently mega fans of what I do. So thank you so much. I do apologize if the lighting's not exactly perfect here. One of my lights actually, one of my studio lights that's like out here died. So it's a little little dark right now i'll get that fixed but thank you guys so much just <laughs> what is happening i look ridiculous right now you you realize this i look ridiculous <laughs> all right thank you guys for tuning in catch you in the next video oh hey wait before i go if you want to send stuff there's a p.o box down in the description that you can send stuff to i guess all right bye <laughs>